so many people lost their health insurance during the pandemic, the White House set up a special enrollment period to sign up through the Affordable Care Act. So to talk about how it's going and the effort to get people signed up, we're joined now by Kristen Young, Deputy Director of the White House Domestic Policy Council for Health and Veterans Affairs. Kristen, this week the White House announced more than one million people have signed up during this special enrollment period. So how big a milestone is that? We we are incredibly excited about the progress that we have made getting American families to enroll at health insurance through the special enrollment period on healthcare.gov. Since we opened up this opportunity to enroll, more than a million people have signed up for coverage at healthcare.gov, and that includes more than 180,000 people in Texas who have taken advantage of the opportunity to get affordable, high-quality health insurance. There's also great news for family budgets. Because of the COVID relief bill that Congress passed earlier this spring, coverage is more affordable than ever on healthcare.gov. So four out of five current consumers can find a plan for less than $10 per person per month. And these are high quality plans. They cover preventive care, doctor's visits, hospitalization, all the services that people need to, to stay healthy and to get healthy if something happens are, are part of these plans. And so we are really excited to see so many people taking advantage of the opportunity to get high quality affordable health insurance. But the state of Texas estimated that more than 600,000 people lost their employer sponsored coverage just during the first few months of the pandemic. So even that many signups still leaves a lot of people who don't have insurance again. So why do you think those people haven't signed up yet? So there is absolutely more work to do to make sure that families know about the affordable coverage options that are available to them on healthcare.gov. That's why the website remains open for people to shop from now until August 15th. And it's why we're doing everything we can to make folks aware of the opportunity to get high quality affordable coverage. So we are working with community-based organizations across the country to get the word out about the, the coverage that is available to folks. And we have launched a nationwide advertising and outreach campaign to, to make consumers aware of the affordable coverage that's available to them. And we, we look forward to seeing hundreds of thousands more people across the country and in Texas visit healthcare.gov and take a look at their options and, and sign up for coverage between now and August 15th. Does the Biden administration have a target for how many people you hope to have signed up by August when this enrollment period ends? We've been really encouraged by the progress that we've seen so far when it comes to getting people enrolled, and we'll keep doing everything we can over the next few months to, to make Americans aware and encourage them to sign up. Well, Kristen, before you got to the White House, you worked for North Carolina's health department. It's a similar state in a lot of ways to Texas, and the high uninsured rate is one of them. So what were the things that you did that worked or that didn't work in North Carolina when you tried to get people to sign up for coverage? So I think the number one factor for families as they're considering health insurance is affordability. Health insurance can be expensive and people need to be able to find a plan that, that meets their needs and, and fits within their budget. So, so we think that the most important thing to be talking to people about is the affordability of coverage. I think people are often surprised when they come to healthcare.gov at exactly how affordable the, the coverage options are. Because of the new subsidies that Congress enacted in the COVID relief bill, coverage is cheaper than ever. And so families are finding better deals than they've, they've ever found before. And we think that's the, the critical message for, for people to hear, that the coverage is affordable and that people are often surprised by, by the ability to, to find a plan that, that really fits within their budget and is able to cover their own and their family's health care needs. And there are a lot of folks, especially here in East Texas, being a fairly conservative area on the whole, who want nothing to do with anything that the government offers them. Many of them, though, don't have insurance. So is there a way to convince them to sign up? Yeah, so, so the way healthcare.gov works is that private health insurance companies sell their products on the website. Those products have been reviewed to ensure they comply with, with key standards and that they cover these key benefits like preventive care and doctor's visits and, and hospitalizations and the emergency room. Um, but they're private insurance plans that people are, are able to buy from pri private companies when they, they shop on healthcare.gov. And then to, to make that coverage affordable, people are eligible for tax credits that compensate them for, for their premiums and really bring down the premium cost to these much more affordable levels 
through through these tax credits that are that are available if if you shop on healthcare.gov. And so, you know, folks are, are able to come to the site and buy a, a private health insurance plan and then and then use these tax credits to, to lower that premium and, and make coverage more affordable for them and their family. And we think a, a lot of people find that a, a really attractive option. 180,000 people in Texas have taken advantage of that opportunity in just the last few months. And we, we look forward to continuing to talk to people about the affordability of coverage. And those additional subsidies that kicked in recently, are those just for the short term or will people still be able to get the same rates next year or the year after? The COVID relief package that Congress enacted this spring includes enhancements to, to those premium tax credits that make coverage more affordable for 2021 and 2022. Um, so they, they last for, for this year and next year. The president has also called on Congress to, to make those better premium subsidies permanent um, so, so that families can continue to benefit from these lower premiums and, and see the, the really affordable coverage when they shop on healthcare.gov. If you look at the states with higher uninsured rates, and Texas does have the highest, it overlaps pretty closely with states that have not expanded Medicaid. So is that also something that you're working on at the same time as you push the personal health insurance plans? Medicaid expansion is critically important for families. It offers a, a pathway into very low cost coverage for low income working families who don't have any other options to, to get affordable health insurance. There are about 4 million people across the country who have been locked out of coverage because their state has failed to expand Medicaid. And we think it's critically important that the, the 12 remaining non-expansion states take a close look and, and think about what it would mean for them and their state and the, their residents to expand Medicaid and give those families a, a path in to, into health insurance that, that's affordable, again, for, for low-income working families in those states. Well, Kristen, thank you for coming on ETX Cover today. I appreciate your, your attention to this important issue.